What's up, Butterfly Gang? Welcome to another Butterfly Message. If you are new here, I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Let's get right into this message. Let me burn this Palo Santo. Clear this energy out. The download I got before the message is fairies. Fairies and crystals. You have a strong bond with the fairies. Um, and your life purpose may involve helping Mother Nature. For some of you guys, you are already interested in watching Mother Nature. You have this interest in the animals. And like green life, you may be a plant mama or a plant daddy. But I feel like you have this type of bond with the fairies. Some of you guys don't know how tight or how locked in you are with the fairies, okay? Um, also, crystals are going to be very, very strong for you. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. So you might want to keep a, keep a crystal in the clutch, okay? Let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with these black card messages I am so in dire need of <laughs> getting me, I mean, making some new message cards. I just lost my train of thought. Some of you guys got a lot on your mind that you can't even focus or you cannot even, you can't even engage in conversation right now because your mind is going to take over. Um, it's a lot on your mind. Deep thoughts definitely can ask the um the fairies for some of you guys the fairies are helping you in the presence of your enemies that's why your enemies can't strike you not only that you're protected but some of you guys walking around here like you don't know you protected okay some of you guys are also walking around like you think that the world is cursing you or you think that something's happening i also felt like there could be some type of energy that you could be picking up from somebody else that's not yours. For some of you guys, you've been doing this for years and you think that it's your, your energy. You're going to be surprised once you start letting people go or once you just start ascending how much that was a choice. For some of you guys, you're realizing your choices and realizing you have options. What messages do we have for Libra? Um, there's some lies that look and flames protection. I just said that your enemies can't strike. You're walking around here protected and you don't know it, but that's okay because your fairy friends are going to help you out. Truth's out, okay? You're protected against some type of lie. You're protected against some type of rumor. And don't even worry about it. I just did a weekly forecast that should be up soon. And the title of that is Relax. The truth comes to you this week. I wanted to, I wanted to say stop seeking. Because the Queen of Swords did come out. You know, the Queen of Swords is looking for that truth. But instead of looking for it, instead of um, messing up your energy, getting bent out of shape for something, I feel like this week, Libra, you're going to relax. Let me get one more message, okay? Children is very, very significant. Children is very, very significant. Write this down. Um, in the morning, Inspo it did tell us to get into our God box, okay? That's when we write all of our worries, concerns, even our desires, our dreams. We write them on a piece of paper and we put it in a box that we call the God box. It's to help you release, let go, send things out into the universe, clear your energy, Clear your energy. That's another reminder for me to get into my God box. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of talking on this reading. We already four minutes in. But I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. But I just basically covered it with the downloads. Okay? Crystals. What crystal do y'all want? Rose quartz. The amethyst. I don't know them all about but I got a little sheet over here somewhere. <laughs> the Amazon night, okay, the clear quartz, all right. The obsidian, obsidian, I don't know, I guess, I don't know. Um, Y'all know what I'm trying to say, 
okay your intuition is honed for some of you guys your intuition is going to keep you in the game for some of you guys you're used to listening to everybody else and then not listening to your damn intuition okay i've been there before listening to everybody else not listening to your goddamn intuition, okay? For some of you guys, your intuition is all the proof that you need, okay? Um, there's something going on here. Why do I feel like somebody is trying to get through, whether it's positive or negative? Somebody could be trying to get through. I did want to go into my gypsy because I've just been liking my gypsy lately. Um, my gypsy witch fortune telling cards. Um, they have some big ones, but I've been liking these cards um, lately. Uh, so, we're going to get into it. Wow, witches, witch vibes has been really, really, maybe it's because it's about to go into fall. Yeah. Somebody gets some bad news. Like I said, somebody's trying to... Get back in. Yeah. Mm. Distrust of your associates. People who are around you. This money ship. Oh, sorry, y'all. This money ship has been coming in. And people ain't liking it. Ain't that crazy? It's like. Let me get myself situated before. I'm still trying to talk and trying to fix this light. Okay, that's better. It's like, Libra, we can let everybody else live in a shimmer, be happy, feeling themselves. But the moment we start feeling ourselves, motherfuckers got a problem with that. Excuse my French. Even though I do cuss a little bit. Try to keep it PG. Okay, you got a bouquet of flowers. Somebody could be getting some flowers. All right, there's a new love that's trying to come on in. Um, this could be also an old love that feels like that. What you what you mean you moving on? It's given. What do you mean you moving on from me? What you mean you closing the door? What you mean the door is closed? You're not answering my phone calls. It's almost like you didn't flip the script on somebody, Libra. Let's finally get into this reading. <laughs> I was about to jack up the cards. But I caught myself. Let's finally... Uh, no, and I actually did jack up the cards. What's going on with this deck? Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. You know what? I was feeling my fall vibes anyway. I was feeling my fall vibes anyway. So I'm going into the night before Christmas tarot deck. Okay. Because we just not going to. I'm going to clear this energy out. Let me go ahead and spray the reading. Spray the cards. Spray the vibes. Do we even need to go into the lies because you're protected? You're protected against some type of lie? Let's see. Tell me more about what is these lies? This lies, spirit. What are these lies? Okay, you got the four of cups coming out in the reverse. So there's some type of lie that could be giving you some type of new hope. Okay, new faith. Some type of lie that could be giving you some type of rest. You got the strength card. Tell me more. What is the energy of these lies? 
Um, there's somebody who don't want to deal with some type of lies. Some of you guys are going to, it's going to be a lie and you're going to be turned into the right direction. I mean, you're going to be turned, it's going to be a lie that's going to make you turn into another direction and that is the right direction. It's almost like something is working out for you regardless. That's just, it's giving me you going to win regardless. Okay, yeah, the ace of, <laughs> the ace of um cups. Yeah, it's giving me you going to win regardless. There's some type of lie that's supposed to get you to do something, but what you do in the midst of a lie actually puts you in alignment and excels you for it. It propels you for it. It also gives you this new life. It's also a gift in disguise. Gives you some type of rest. Rest has been very, very big. Very, very big this week. Something can also, something can also have something to do with a lover. Okay, tell me more about um, flames. Also, there could be someone that's lying on a lover or a person that's close to you or you. Um, and this lie actually make the bond deeper. There's some rumor that can make the bond deeper with yourself. Or there's a lie about a person or a rumor about a person that's close to you that can possibly um, affect the relationship. But instead, the, the bond gets stronger. Something gets stronger. Tell me more about flames protection. You're protecting. You got the will of fortune. For some of you guys, your will of fortune and the four of um, swords. For some of you guys in this next stage in your life, this new thing, your rest. Sit back. You're protected. Sit all the way back. Get all like recline your chair a little bit. Okay. Um, with this eight of. For some of you guys, you're you're overthinking. You're overthinking the situation and you are protected. You're okay, especially when it comes to love. There's a need for you to change how you feel inside about it. Don't feel... Okay, so the, this is the message that I feel spirit is trying to come, come through. Don't worry about anything going, out, going on outside of you. Okay? There may be chaos. There may be rumors. Don't try to fix. Don't try to defend. Like when a person talk about me, they can they can they can say whatever they want to say. I ain't gonna say yes or I ain't gonna say no. You believe whatever you want to believe, okay? Especially if you didn't give me the like if you didn't try to if you went to outside sources before you came to me, I'm gonna let you sit out there real quick. It's giving my my, my king of swords energy. You know, that, that Aquarius. I don't know where I got Aquarius in my chart, but it's given that, like, I know the truth, so I'm going to just watch you sweat <laughs> while I know the truth. You know, the Queen of Swords like to tell people, like, ah, you lying. Like, you're bullshitting. You're full of shit. That's what the Queen of Swords like to do. But sometimes I hop into my King of Swords energy where I'm, like, I'm content with who I am and I'm not explaining. I'm not defending myself. You can believe whatever you want to believe. So don't try to bend a story. Don't try to make something work. Don't try to do anything that's outside of yourself. Um, there's a need for you to tackle these fears that potentially and that have in the past self-sabotaged you. Because if you act right now, you're going to be acting out of pure fear. Pure fear. And what comes out of pure fear is lack. Okay, tell me more about truth out. The truth is coming out. I gotta, I gotta change this deck. I just, I just gotta change this deck. Okay. I just gotta trust in my intuition with this. One. <laughs> it's, it's, for some reason, the decks. Tell me more about truth out. Okay, much better. You know how you can feel you can feel the energy in your hands truth out okay for some of you guys there's going to be a truth the truth is going to be out how a person truly admires someone or admires you um also there could be a person um you could be finally getting your accolades like you're finally like people are finally seeing what it is you're doing somebody could also see like wow Libra has so many supporters or Libra has so many people who are in their corner or Libra has a person that's in their corner or they have so many people that's fond of them. Like Libra's protected. 
your protection is about to come out. And for some of you guys, people are going to start seeing your protection because they're about to see how much you are blessed. They're about to see how much you're loved. They're about to see how much people love you, how many how, how much work you've been doing. And they're going to see how that work pays off for you, okay? Um, that's the truth. This, this is the truth about you. There is a deep need for you to get in connection with your feelings. And rest, rest, okay? There can be a phone call that could be a, a, an amazing opportunity for you, okay? Um, tell me more about children why is children here okay you got the hangman and the strength card here so there could be a child that's getting influenced by a person or getting influenced by their pain or their hurt that could be a child that's acting out, that's getting influenced by the crowd and also some type of hurt there. There can also be a person here that's influencing a child, okay? There can also be a person that's influencing a child negatively. But you got justice coming in. No no weapon, no weapon. For So for some of you guys, you may be seeing a change in, in a child or you may be seeing something, but there is a child that's getting influenced negatively here. Maybe there's a person that's speaking around this child. Um, let me see. Maybe there's a person that's speaking around this child, or maybe there's a person that is doing something around this child, okay? Whatever it is, it's not something that's in good faith. For some of you guys, there, there's a crowd around that's that's not strong. That's not mentally strong. Also not physically strong. This child is way more mentally stronger than this, than, than this crowd or this person. This person has a lot of influence over them. Um, but this child is way more mentally strong. And I want to see why. This child is very, very impressionable. Okay, you got the Page of Cups coming out here. This child is very, very impressionable. Um, somebody is drinking up. Somebody is drinking up all the, the mess. This child is just eating up all of the stuff. Yeah, with the five of, with the five of wands here. This child is just drinking up all, this child is just getting, it's like negativity, it's drama filled, and they're being influ influenced by a person around them. Somebody could be speaking, if this child is acting out towards you, somebody is definitely speaking about you. Somebody has been speaking about you for a while. That's crazy that that just came out. But somebody has been speaking about you for a while and possibly to a child and possibly a child's view of you can change. But you do have the justice card here. Um, flames protection. No weapon shall form. You also may see that the child could be acting that way because they truly admire you. Okay, because that's the truth that's coming out. Tell me more about intuition as a mother. I told you I feel like I'm going to be talking on this reading. It's already 18 minutes in. Tell me more about intuition as a mother. Mm. Intuition is a mother. You got the devil and the hermit. You knew. For some of you guys, you knew deep down in your soul that a person wasn't good for you. But here you go with your little light. Try to check it out. Try to see, see what's going on. For some of you guys... You knew that a person wasn't good for you, so you protected your energy. Like, I, I, I was just telling this girl, it's this other girl. I was telling my, <laughs> my friend about this girl, and the moment that I met her, she gave me a vibe. Like, gave me a vibe. And I was like, mm, I don't know what that is, but I ain't trying to find out. So, um, I just kept my distance. And that very girl was adamant on starting some type of beef with me. Never really talked nothing, but she made it seem like we had a beef going on. It was something going on. And I'm like, I don't even know you. I said three words to you, Miss Mamas, okay? Um, 
And I just felt, I was like, I felt that in my soul. Like, and probably you felt like, ooh, she don't like you. And I didn't know her. This is probably like her first day, um, my, my first day meeting her. And sh just the, the hello was just so much energy. Like, you would think we knew somewhere. We knew each other from somewhere. Probably up in the ethers. Probably up in the ethers, okay? <laughs> probably, probably her spirit guys and my spirit guys probably like beefing or something like that. I don't know. But she act like she knew me from somewhere. And I just protected my energy. And then it turned out I was right. I'm like, I didn't know what she was do doing. I didn't know what she had up her sleeve. But I know something that didn't, it didn't sit well with me. Um, but yeah, you know the truth of someone. Your intuition told you the truth about somebody. You got the Ace of Swords here. Yeah. And you're going to know this. You're going to know this. Somebody's going to be saying something. Be mindful of what people say. Tell me more about... Because I can back it up. I talk a lot of... Because I can back it up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You got the Eight of Cups. You can leave a situation because you got it like that. For somebody, somebody could think you got the Eight of Cups and you got the Ten of Ten of Wands in reverse. So you can just drop some shit. Like, don't push me. Like, you could be telling somebody, like, I will drop this whole thing. Like, and I will be out. And you are dead ass serious. Like, I can drop this load. Matter of fact, I'm about to drop this load. And I feel like for some of you guys, you are dropping this load because the Ten of, Ten of Wands is, a, is an excruciating place to be in i think most people don't talk about the the excruciating place that the ten of wands is is you holding on to everything you're doing everything by yourself you're tired you're hungry okay um your emotions are crazy you're stressed out your body aches and you have all this work all everything to do and it's like i will drop this this something doesn't have to be so hard and the reason why that i'm telling you this or the reason why that i'm saying this or the reason why you could have some of you guys dropped something and they didn't think you were. And you just dropped something like 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 that. And it's because because I can back up what I talk about actually. And you got the magician. Confirmation. <laughs> Cause I'm the magician. I can do what I please. I can do whatever I put my mind to. Okay. Tell me more about you believe anything, I swear. Let's get less cards this time, Spirit. Tell me more about you believe anything, I swear. Okay. Ace of Swords here. Somebody is talking to you. There's going to be some truth. Okay, somebody does... There's going to be a person... Like, that's why I said... Don't try to force something outside of yourself. There's going to be a person who has the opportunity to know the truth, but chooses to believe the lie. Yeah. Somebody, you're giving somebody the truth, or somebody could be giving you the truth, but they're confused about whether it is the truth. The lie sounds just that much more juicier. And doesn't, isn't that frustrating if the lie is against you? You're like, I am pouring my soul out. And a person like, mm, I don't know. So don't get into the place of defending your character. That has been hitting me so much in the last couple of weeks of me just being hit by times and emotions when I felt like I had to defend my character. And sometimes it was also like things happen, um, taking place in my life that made me feel like I know I want to go up there and tell everybody, but don't do that. Usually... Because that's acting out of fear. You're already protected. You already got this bond with the fairies. Keep your crystals in the clutch and you're going to be fine. You can tell someone the truth, but don't try to get believers. You're trying to get people. You know how you're trying to get this person to believe whatever it is you're saying. Don't do that. Do not do that. Because there's somebody here that you're going to give them the God honest truth and they're still going to believe the lie. Okay? Still going to be on the fence about it. On whether it's the truth or it's not the truth. Tell me more about um, got a lot on my shoulders. Or somebody could be giving you the God honest truth and you're still in a, um, on the fence about it. So make sure you work on 
your internally. You work on yourself internally. Because, like I said, there's a self-sabotaging energy here. Tell me more about, um, got a lot on my shoulders. What is this? Oh, <laughs> got a lot on my shoulders. That's money, honey. Money, honey. Somebody thought you had problems. Oh, no, not problems. Not problems on my shoulders. <laughs> Not problems on my shoulders. I got a lot of money on my shoulders. Okay? Got a lot on my shoulders. That's money. That's opportunities. That's contentment. That's happiness. You got the queen of pentacles. Nothing to worry about. Okay? Nothing to worry about. Boom. With the four of pentacles here and the magician and the high priestess, like, the stuff you got on your shoulders is beautiful. Page of Pentacles, it's all money. You got a lot of opportunities. For some of you guys, you got a lot of jobs. Tell me more about the lion. Temperance. There's some bad news from a person in your past. Some shock, shock of a sudden bad news from a person um, from your past. Okay. Tell me more. Some of you guys be patient. Got this king of cups. Somebody's feelings, how a person feels. Okay. For some of you guys, th this bad news or something could be happening because you somebody could be in a, in, a, in a love situation and there's here come the ex and you're not quite sure of if you're done or if you're not. So you're taking this as like, oh my God, now I'm back in, the, now I'm back in confusion. I also, I be feeling like here's the case of the ex here. Um, somebody wants to grow something with you, but this is not good news for you. Yeah, the two of, the two of cups. Maybe somebody is going through a breakup. And maybe a past situation happens very, very fast. Or this was a breakup. You got the emperor. The emperor is here. Maybe somebody who has Aries. Somebody who's an Aries, a Taurus. Tell me more about the fox. You got the seven of swords coming out of here. There's a close person. These are the enemies. This, this looks like this is the enemy placement. <laughs> um, there's enemies at work. Somebody's going to dis. Somebody is going to abuse your trust and try to trap you in a situation. For some of you guys, you said something to a person, or you was talking about a person to someone. They're going to tell them everything you said. Be careful about being real gossipy. Not because we ain't going to stand ten to toes down on what we said, but we don't got time for that negative energy. Like, if I'm confiding in you, if I'm venting, then I should, I should feel like I can vent with you. And what I said with you can stay with you. Just like when you vent with me. But if you run it behind trying to create mess, just because we are so highly sensitive, that's going to create mess inside of you. And no, don't nobody need that. So be mindful about how you're, how you're gossiping and what you're gossiping about. Justice. Bow on that. Somebody's going to try to do something, but it's not going to work. I'm not going to work. Tell me more about the birds. Tell me more about the birds. What's this dire misfortune? Something's going to take longer than it needs to. What's the birds? The birds, the birds, the birds. The birds is telling you to protect your money. Protect your money. Protect your money. For some of you guys, there it could be some misfortune coming towards you, loss of money, but you have the opportunity to avert avert a spell, okay? Um, so definitely protect your money. You protecting it. You also standing up for yourself. You have the absolutely, um, you have all the power to, to, send, to, to return to sender. So you just might want to say as, you, as you're reading this, return to sender, return to sender. Okay, anything that someone's giving 
uh, return to sender. Be very, very mindful about where you're going. There's a person here that's trying to betray or trying to take. Something is telling you to protect your money. You may need to move money in a different account or something like that. Tell me more about the ship. Got the Knight of Wands. The ship is a sure sign of riches, but something is on a delay. Okay? Somebody is talking about you. You got the sun. And they're, and they're sending they're sending so much light. You might want to tell your hater thank you. Somebody is passing gossip about you, about some type of money that you have. Or it could be how you got it. I don't care. Yeah, the star. Here you go. Somebody trying to dim your light. Not going to work. Not going to work. Not going to work. Not going to work. Tell me more about this bouquet of flowers. Yeah. You got this flowers from the past. Somebody's going to be sending you some flowers here. The king of swords. <laughs> king of swords could be sending somebody some flowers here. This is going to throw you off. Whoever this person is from your past. They're going to throw you off, okay? Somebody could also be giving you some flowers, but they don't want to. They don't want to give you the satisfaction of, of giving you your flowers. So what they're going to do is stab you in the back. Ah, uh, what a low-vibing energy. Who is this low-vibing energy that y'all is around? Or that somebody's around? Instead of giving you your flower, they're like, hmm, I don't have a flower, but I got a knife. Stab. What the fuck? What is this low vibing energy here? Somebody has, has this low vibing energy here. This low vibing energy, yeah. For some of you guys, this the, this is the eight. This is this is the eight of uh, swords here. Mm. Somebody is filled with some type of negative energy. And it even could be your energy as well. You want to check that out. Instead of giving yourself the flowers, you could be stabbing yourself in the back. Well, right now is the time for you to go ahead and give yourself all your flowers. Somebody had needs to needs to congratulate themselves for walking away from the tower, from moving out of that environment in that mindset. Okay? Um there's also a high priestess here. Oh, there's a fake person. That's what that is. There's a high priestess, a fake high priestess. That's not a that's not really a high priestess. They want to be there to know everything that you're doing, but they're they're on some low vibing energy, negativity, dark darkness. And they're dressing themselves up to look like this type of um, high priestess, type of um, intuitive, feminine goddess-like energy, okay? This wise person, this gentle, this nurturer, they're not that. They are not that. Somebody's trying to, trying to act like they are. Yeah, with the seven of, yeah, somebody is creating a, a an, an illusion, a big illusion for you, not giving you no flowers. For some of you guys, this could be a person who could be trying to do that to you, so you won't, you won't see how far you've came. Yeah, somebody's trying to step on your neck. Pure jealousy. Pure jealousy, love. Pure jealousy. Pure, pure jealousy. Okay. So that is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.